Hawkeye is one of my favorite superheroes and I'm really happy to see him back in the new Disney Plus series Hawkeye. Now lots of people would say Hawkeye isn't a superhero, he has no superpowers. But I say he does and perhaps it is a case that Hawkeye has eyesight or super eyesight like that of real birds of prey. In this video I'm going to show you that this is very much the case. Hi there, I'm Dr. Barry Fitzgerald, the superhero scientist, and on this channel, you're gonna find videos about Santa Claus, superheroes, Star Wars, science, and lots of other topics. If you're enjoying this video, well, please do give it the like. Right, get your arrows ready, because it's Hawkeye time. And get ready for some Hawkeye-related puns. I apologize for these in advance, and I'm even gonna have a pun counter running through this video. Hawkeye's back in the Disney Plus series Hawkeye and I'm delighted to be honest. Now lots of people will say he doesn't have any superpowers. I'm going to show you that that is very much not the case. Episode 1 of Hawkeye opens in the year 2012 and features the Battle of New York from the film The Avengers. We are introduced to Kate Bishop and her parents who happen to live very close to the epicenter of the Shatari invasion of New York City. As the aliens run amok throughout the city, part of Kate's apartment is blown apart, giving her a bird's eye view of the destruction that's taken place. As Kate looks out into the carnage, a Shatari alien craft flies towards her, but it's destroyed by a trick arrow. Kate then looks up and sees Hawkeye perched on a building battling the aliens. But faced with imminent destruction, Hawkeye opts to leave his nest and swings off the building through a window to safety. I think it's absolutely brilliant how the Hawkeye series was able to link to that huge battle from the 2012 film The Avengers. Now I have analyzed that film, quite in depth in fact, and figured out some very interesting things about what Hawkeye is doing in that scene. In fact, I've even written a scientific paper about all of this for the journal Physics Education, which was published in 2018. To demonstrate that Hawkeye has a superpower and that he actually sees the world as birds of prey would, I'm gonna take a very small snippet of that big battle scene that involves Hawkeye. Before I get into the details of that scene, let me point out a very interesting fact about birds of prey. Some birds of prey can actually see a prey from up to three kilometers away, which of course is very useful when it comes to hunting and tracking prey. But the question I'm striving to ask here is the following, can Hawkeye see the world like birds of prey? To answer the question, let's take a closer look at the I got him scene from the Avengers. This is the scene where Hawkeye tracks Loki and Black Widow flying towards him in his nest in New York City. As they fly towards him, he loads an arrow and fires it at Loki, who catches the arrow, and then it subsequently explodes. In the clip, we see the view zoom for a moment, and it's this that gives us an idea of how Hawkeye's eyes actually work. Right, so how am I gonna answer the question, does Hawkeye see the world like birds of prey? Well, I sat down and analyzed the film and figured out the building in New York City where Hawkeye created his nest from which he fired arrows at the Shatari alien craft and also saved Kate Bishop. Once I had figured out the building where Hawkeye was, I then turned to Google Maps, placed Hawkeye on a building, and from that then figured out how far away he was from Black Widow and Loki when he first saw them as they flew towards him in that I got him scene. In particular, I wanted to figure out how far away they were when we got to see him use his zooming eyesight. Let's take a look then at the calculation and the setup of all of the players in New York City for that I got him scene. Here is a snapshot of Midtown Manhattan with Hawkeye on the building he was perched on during the Battle of New York in the Avengers from 2012. Now this is right beside Park Avenue and East 42nd Street, so keep those in mind 
and it's right beside Grand Central Terminal Station. In the Avengers and the MCU, you will actually find Stark Tower right behind Grand Central Terminal Station. In the film, Hawkeye is seen looking straight down East 42nd Street for that I got him scene. And the moment that he zooms in on Black Widow and Loki, they are located roughly here as they fly towards him from the East River. If you put in all of these positions into Google Maps and get yourself one of their little line drawn tools, draw a line out, you'll find that Hawkeye is roughly around 700 meters away from Black Widow when he sees her for the first time with his zooming eyesight. You've got to admit that that is quite impressive that Hawkeye could zoom in on Black Widow from 700 meters away. While this is below the capabilities of some birds of prey, it's still beyond the capability of the ordinary human being. Hawkeye has definitely got eyesight similar to Birds of Prey, in my book anyway, and I think he's definitely got a superpower with this too. But you may be wondering where exactly then was Kate Bishop during the Battle of New York scene as she watched Hawkeye firing arrows and fighting the aliens in the Battle of New York? Well, let's take a look at the map once more. Here we are back with all the major players with Hawkeye standing on a building on Park Avenue and that is exactly the avenue where Kate Bishop was living in a penthouse apartment with her parents in the opening scene of episode one of Hawkeye. From my estimates from looking at the episode and then also trying to second guess things from the Avengers film, I estimate that the penthouse apartment where Kate Bishop is living with her parents is roughly around there. There you have it. Conclusive proof, I hope, that Hawkeye has got super eyesight like Birds of Prey. Yes, Hawkeye does have a superpower, which is super eyesight. I might be biased because he's one of my favorite superheroes, but I really do think this is the case. Stay tuned for more videos about the incredible superpowers of Hawkeye. And of course, there may be some more Hawkeye or bird related puns. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the latest videos on this channel. I've been Dr. Barry Fitzgerald, the superhero scientist, and until I see you next time, always think super.